Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go through an example of an inverse function question and we have to find the values of a and b for a linear function. Pause this video and see if you can correctly answer this question, otherwise continue watching and I'll show you how to answer it. Reading the question we've got the inverse function of the linear function f of x equals ax plus b is f inverse of x equals 4x minus 6. Find the values of a and b. Now since we've been given the rule of f inverse, to find the values of a and b, we need to find the rule of the inverse in terms of a and b. To do this, we let y is equal to the original function, which is ax plus b, and then we swap the x and y variables, and then solve for y. And so we're going to get x is equal to ay plus b. Solving for y, y is going to be x minus b, and then divide by a. Therefore, f inverse of x, in terms of a and b, is going to equal x on a minus b on a. Now, we're told that f inverse of x is equal to 4x minus 6. And so this means that 1 on a, the coefficient of the x term, is going to equal 4. And b on a, which is the constant, is going to equal 6. And so if we let 1 on a equal 4, Solving for a, we're going to get a is equal to 1 on 4. And if we let b on a equal 6, then we know that b is going to equal 6 times a. We know that a is equal to 1 on 4, and so this is going to be 6 times 1 on 4. Simplifying this, 2 goes into this 3 times, into this 2 times. And so therefore, b is going to equal 3 on 2. And that's it for this question guys. If you found it helpful, then give it a thumbs up or comment below and let me know. And if you guys want to practice exam questions related to inverse functions, then log into the Maths Methods Club. And from the main topics, select Functions and Graphs. And then select Inverse Functions. Here you're going to see all the inverse function questions asked in the previous exams. If you want to try take free questions, just go to question type and then select take free. Try out these questions and see how you go. Good luck and I'll see you guys in the next video.